Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of FTL Faster Than Light. I want to start this one off by reminding you that backseat gaming is more stressful for you than it is for me. I got quite a few annoyed comments on the last video because we actually encountered a situation which I thought at the time might have been for some sort of quest line and it was. It was for the rarest and most difficult quest line in the game. Uh, but the thing is, you know, I've already outlined what we're trying to do here. We're trying to do a boarding strategy. We are certainly not chasing down uh, any secret ships that I know next to nothing about because I have only played this game, you know, so many times and I have only unlocked three ships. So how was I to know it was going to unlock something anyway? So, I don't know, just sit back and enjoy the videos. Don't worry about it too much if I make mistakes. I am only human and I do not know everything about this game. It is a learning experience, which you guys help me with a lot, actually. All the tips and feedback in the videos are extremely useful. But in the last episode, we done three sectors. We're going to do another three in this one. And as of right now, we get to pick where we want to go. I'm thinking we go to the pirate controlled, and then we can go through these red sectors all the way to the end. Now, one thing we're going to do in this sector is hopefully find a shop and remember to buy the fuel, which is one thing I forgot to do in the last one. And that's just me. That's just how my brain works. I often think and think and think and then forget the most important thing I might have assessed earlier. We are going to go into the nebula straight away because that is going to slow down the fleet slightly. And we have intruders on board. Let's pause. They are in the med bay. Is that guy stationed in the med bay? Yes, he is. So we'll send our fighter in to help. And that's just two of them. I couldn't help but feel I saw a third one somewhere, but it was only the two. So we'll leave them there to fight. They will level up their fighting skills. And we have a augment that comes with the ship. I think that's the only way you can obtain it. I could be wrong. That actually heals our guys when they are in and around the ship. And I think when they're in the med bay, that might combine so they're a little bit faster. But I don't know for sure. It just seems to be that way. Anyway, we took care of that situation very easily. And I think we will just jump to this one right here. Lots of connecting beacons right there. We've only got five jumps left before we need to find some fuel. <laughs> and we have some intruders on board yet again. So this time we've got four up the top. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's open all of those doors and then let's stage some defense in the rooms around it. So we'll send this guy there and that guy there because they're I think those two are better fighters. And that guy's got low health so we're going to send in our Mantis as backup who are not fighters, however these guys should be damaged. Um, oh no, apparently they've just been able to walk through <laughs> all of the doors. I don't know what's going on there. So they are probably going to park themselves in and around our oxygen area. So we will send our Mantis into this room, our Rockman into that room there. And we're going to bring this guy in as backup as well. We don't want these guys doing damage to our systems, which is our hulls. And I was looking at this thinking we're going to have to, you know, send people over to the med bay and back, but we have the luxury of that augment, which really helps us defend, because look, these guys are surviving a lot longer. Oh, and I thought that guy in our weapons room was a rock guy. When these guys are facing in that direction, they kind of look like one. And it looks like we might be close to substituting someone out of fighting. There we go, this guy's got to leave the room. I'm not sure what one he was in. Was it that one? Looks like it, doesn't it? And now we've got another guy up here. We've got two guys that need to make their way to the med bay by the looks of it. Okay, so they're in there on their own now. I think what we're going to do is send these two into there to fight. And then that guy's going to fight that one down there. And we're all good. We are all good. Right, I'm just going to send everyone to their posts and do a jump cut. Well, there you go. Everyone's healed up. It's time to jump to the next place. So we have a store. We can go to that one or to this one. We have enough jumps or fuel, so I think what we'll do is go to the Distress, then make our way up to the store. That seems like a good idea. So what awaits us at this beacon? You follow the Distress signal to find a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. We will hail to offer them assistance. They respond, Help! Our shields are down and we won't last long. I think we are going to offer our beam, uh, offer to beam them aboard our ship. They reluctantly agree. Once aboard, you watch as their ship crashes into a massive rock. They thank you but say, I don't know what we'll do without our ship as the captain. I feel obliged to help you with your mission. So the captain has come on board, a new crew member with engine skills. Should we post him in the engine? We have a Mantis guy over there who can repair. This guy's a fighter. He's probably going to be most suited to 
our uh, our boarding strategy, which we can now put into effect. We've got two guys here we can send over. So we will save our crew positions, and hopefully at the next one we will have a fight. You know, we could go around like this a little bit. Just uh, stagger the amount of beacons before we hit that shot. Okay, a scan reveals a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. We are going to explore the asteroid field, and we have found some fuel. That is fantastic. On to the next one. We do have another distress beacon over here. We'll go to that probably after we've been to the store. Okay, so we're in an asteroid field, and we have a pirate ship. We are going to turn and fight, and we are going to board these guys. They are going to be in big trouble now. Let's see. We have two reactor power. That's for our drones, isn't it? So all we really got to do is target the iron blast at the weapons. Keep that offline. Now, this is the time to upgrade our weapons, because with two ions firing at them, and they're going to have a real hard time getting their weapons up, and it's going to make it nice and easy for us to board them, which we will do right now. We're going to send them into the shield room, so hopefully we can do a little bit of damage to that, but it looks like we're straight into a fight. We have one of the guys that actually... Oh, we just got hit by the asteroid field. That's not good. Uh, they have one of the guys here that explodes on death and does damage, but it looks like we're doing really well here. Uh, no, we're not. This guy needs to get out immediately. So we're going to send him to a different room on the ship. They are <laughs> offering surrender here. Oh, no, no, they're not. We did it. Excellent. We killed all of their crew. Okay, and they've got a guy over there. Well, we've got a guy who's in desperate need of being healed. Okay, all of that happened really fast. So we've just got to send them back. Hopefully there's nothing that's going to happen over here that will hurt them, like the ship being hit by an asteroid field. That would be really bad. And look, they're right next to the med bay. Let's close those doors. Our shield should hold for a moment here. And by the way, I think each time an asteroid hits our shield, this guy is going to level up slightly. Is that true? Mm, I don't think he did. I wasn't actually paying attention. I started looking around elsewhere on the screen. No, he's not, is he? Okay. Right, our guys are healed. Let's send them back to their post. And let's jump to the next beacon. We can't upgrade our ship because there's danger. Right, this is it. We've got a lot of scrap. And what do we have here? We can buy a cloaking system. That's something we'll probably get later in the game. And that's about it. Well, not a lot of this shop really, is there? Of course, I'm joking. We're going to buy some fuel. That's what we came here for. There we go. So we can now make 12 jumps. I've been told that this one here actually isn't that good. It does sound good, but with four layers of shield, you know, might not make the biggest of differences in a battle, so we might sell that augment for another one later on. Anyway, we can now upgrade our ship. We are going to buy two levels of weapons, which will give us 85. I've been told that this evasion thing actually only works when your station is unmanned. So dodge is for dodging missiles and weapons, and then this is for a percentage of that dodge, I guess, when you're unmanned. So it's not the best of things, really at least to upgrade. We could upgrade our sensors, although we're going to be boarding a lot. That will make that quite useful. I think we'll go up one level on that and maybe just upgrade our engines by one. That seems reasonable. Now we've got 50 left over, which we could use for something else. We also may want to upgrade our crew teleporter. Yeah, definitely later on when they have more, you know, more people on their ship, we'll need to take our crew off to heal and go back. So it's just another thing that needs upgrading as we go along. So let's bring our heavy iron online. That's awesome that is. We are going to jump I think we'll go up to this beacon and then down to the distress beacon. And there is a sun here. That's never good. And a pirate ship. Right, what's the strategy here? Target their weapons. They might get a hit on us because they have a strong shield, but immediately I think we should board them and probably board into the weapon shields. Uh, into the weapons room just to keep it offline. There we go. So, oh, that didn't work. Is there a. What was that? Super shield prevents teleporting. Fair enough. That is fair enough. It looks like we'll have to wait a moment for those shields to come down a little bit. The super shield, so it has a name. I didn't know that before. Let's see what damage they do to us here. Okay, we can now board. Let's send these guys back. It's probably a little pointless sending them over there. Okay, and they're in position. And we send them over. And they've damaged the weapons a little bit. And now they're fighting. We'll leave them to that. 
and now we're targeting their weapons. That's excellent. And it looks like we're winning the fight as well. Okay, there is a solar flare imminent, and one of our guys is really taking damage here. Okay, so where do we have this fire? It's in the one place where you need someone to put it out, so we'll send this guy, he's right next to the med bay. And it looks like we've got to get fish out of there. We're going to send him up to that part of the ship. How will the other guy do on his own? We're going to send him back down. Ah, oh, that was it, their crew died. Okay, so we've had a close call there. We got some fuel from that, by the way, a couple of times. It's time to bring our crew back so they can get healed up. And you will just help out. Okay, that's all done now, that's good. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. Let's jump out of here. Solar flares are imminent, so we're going to the distress beacon. It sounded like the solar flare may have just happened, so we might have a fire on board. But anyway, you find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them asking what's wrong. Help. We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Send the crew to help, or leave them alone. You know what, taking a gamble is always fun, but at this point we've just got our boarding crew together and it feels really silly to risk any of them because the gains aren't going to be too great. So we're actually going to do that. I don't know if that's the most enjoyable thing, but that felt like a really sensible decision to me. Absolutely no point to take a gamble now that we have all we need. So we can go one, two and three, or possibly go there and down, up, across. Be nicer if this thing was further to the edge, wasn't it? I think it'd be better to go over to that side. Okay, so we have an AI ship to take down here. It has two attack drones. I think that means we should be targeting uh, its drone system and its weapon system. Hmm, this could be interesting. Let's see what we can do here, because we're going to have to bring our combat drone online. And do you know what? We can take away power from our engines and our true crew transporter and bring that online yes I didn't think of doing that straight away there we go things are okay now we're taking down their shields the drones and weapons are offline and we're doing damage Do you know a lot of these fights they look tricky at first and then <laughs> you realize it's quite simple anyway we are doing good here this is just a matter of time now and on the next one it's gonna blow up boom Excellent. That was nice and efficient. So more scrap, more fuel, and a drone part. Awesome. That works out really well. Let's put the power back on the systems we want them on. And let's jump to the next beacon. We are actually cutting it really close now. When we go down here, I think it's going to be very close to being in that area. Which means we could be fighting a Federation ship. Which could also be fun. Could also be fun. Right. Two levels of shields, let's target same as before and bring the drone online straight away, which we don't have power for. Let's just take those offline. There we go. It should be another straightforward battle for us. And it's got a missile which it's about to fire. And it missed. That's very good. That's very fortunate. Okay, we got their weapons ionized. And their drones are coming down now. There we go. Now that one's missing a lot, that. Heavy Iron, I think, is targeted on there. Actually, you can see the numbers. Look, just at the bottom it says 1 and 2, so it is Heavy Iron on that room. Anyway, just a couple more hits now. And then we're on to our last beacon for the sector. Awesome. Do we get any scrap? How much scrap do we get? Oh, we get a Reverse Iron Field Augment. That sounds good. So what does this do? Protects your ship from iron damage, giving a 50% chance to negate it entirely. I'm going to swap that out for the shield charge booster. Let's put that over there. And uh, yeah, we'll accept that. That's cool to have some defense from that. So we didn't... Yeah, we got it just right. It's not inside the, uh, the range of the rebel fleet. So we'll have whatever's here and then we'll jump onto the next bit. Uh, we will attack the ship, of course. And now we're fighting three of these in a row. These aren't the most exciting. We're just going to target the engines and bring the drone online and this thing will probably be over in a moment will they even get a shot away okay we just missed and it looks like they are going to get a shot away they also have a beam which uh, is dangerous if your shields are down but we have two levels of shields and you know what going to the next area it might be a very good time to upgrade our shields and we I think we have enough to afford it I think it's around 200 the next level costs We'll be able to have a look at that in a moment. 
And down goes the ship. How much scrap? 50! Awesome! And we get to investigate the station, which was abandoned or stripped clean, it says. So, nothing useful there. So the next level, 150 odd. Think a little bit over because that one's 30. Yeah, I think we'll uh, accept that. Awesome. Going into this next sector with our shields up again, I think is perfect timing. So, that's our first sector for this episode. We've got two more to do. And the next one is a rebel controlled area. Fuel is looking okay. Definitely got to stock up on that when we go to a ship. A ship? <laughs> a shop. A ship, a shop. Right, so let's go to that one because it connects to lots of them. Okay, there are no other ships near this beacon. However, you detect a small communication relay. You tap into it without a problem. There is no encryption. Most of the chatter revolves around a troop and fleet movements. Not particularly interesting. Oh, well, that's, that's a shame, isn't it? So we want to go to that nebula on our way. That one goes to it. It also connects to these two beacons. If there's a shop there, that'll be useful. That's basically what we do whenever we go through these beacons, is just try and check out as many of them as we can. So we have a Federation encrypted signal is being broadcasted from a nearby planet. We could send an away party, or it could be a trap. Same thing as before, really. I do not want to risk any of my crew members. We really don't need any more, and we could possibly buy one at a shop. So we're actually going to move on. I'm sorry to be less exciting, uh, but that's just the way we're going to do it. We will check out the distress beacon quickly. Okay, so you find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. <laughs> All of these are about sending my crew in and you guys are going to hate me if I don't do it. I think what we will do is dock with the ship. That's probably going to do hull damage, isn't it? Oh, I don't like these risks because all I'm seeing is that crew member has disappeared and it'll be one of the important guys. <laughs> let's do it, let's do it. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? We would lose a crew member. Ah, oh, that's kind of annoying. That also means we're just going to send you to the engine room. That's why I don't like taking those risks. Let's save their positions. We did get some scrap from it. Oh, and if we go to this one, we've got to go back through that one. Well, that kind of sucks. I should have checked that out. That's a waste of a jump, really. Okay, we've got a boarding drone at this one. That's alright. I'm not reading as much today, by the way. Just having uh, <laughs> one of those days where I'm not too good at reading. You have to be in the right kind of mood for it. At least reading when commentating. Reading out loud, you know what I mean. Okay, a heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. We should lock onto their life signs. Hey, we got a crew member back, and he's good at shields. <laughs> well, that worked out, I guess. Um, what's this guy like? Lanning, not leveled up on shields yet, so we will just swap you to the engine room, and you will go back there, and we will save positions. So, we lost a crew member. We gained one who's better at shields, which means we get... A little bonus here as well. 20% faster recharge. That is actually better than the augment we had. So we're making gains and we're jumping around from beacon to beacon. Let's go up to that one. That connects to a lot of them. Also got to think about the path back down towards the exit beacon as well. You receive a transmission. Sorry sir, this is nothing personal, but we're under orders. The rebel ships got hot. No, the, re <laughs> the rebels ships weapons go hot. Okay. <laughs> Um, we're going to send you guys in because we are going to board their ship. Notice though that they have four crew members. Yeah, and we haven't upgraded this to a 15 second cooldown, so it's going to be a really close call actually. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is the best of strategies. Yeah, I think we're going to cancel that. I'm sorry. I think that's too much of a risk. We need to upgrade that system before we can take on larger crews, which is something that I did actually mention and that we could probably afford. Right, it looks like we're going to have to bring the drone online as well to help out here. So down goes the shields. And what's the drone going to hit? Oh, they did two damage to our hull. That's not good. They have a strong laser weapon as well. So we really need to focus on getting that, that weapons offline. 
We're missing a lot of shots. It's kind of frustrating. Okay, they didn't take down our shields. It's a good thing we upgraded them, actually. Oh, and now they really hit us again. Mm, this fight is not going well at all. Right, their crew members are taking a little bit of damage. You know what we could do? If, if one of them dies or they start getting hurt, we could possibly pull out the drone and board, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think this is just one of those ones where you've got to kind of wait it out. But we are keeping their weapons offline now, so it's pretty much a waiting game. I don't know, is some of these fights worth skipping? I would like to know actually, if you want to leave a comment down below, because this thing's drawing on a little bit. We kind of know we've won and we've just got to wait for the drone to do its thing. That's kind of tempting because there's a lot of missiles, but we will not accept your surrender, no way. Not today. So yeah, skipping some of the fights if they're pretty straightforward, is that a good thing? I don't know. I think if I were watching I'd probably just like to see it all uncut to be honest. Come on, one more shot drone, one more shot. Yay, we did it. And we've got 46 scrap, which could possibly be invested back into the ship. So it's going to cost us 60. That's pretty reasonable. Is there a shop nearby? There is. And it looks like we're going to be able to go maybe... Just trying to look and estimate. We could go 1, 2... Free. I think that's going to cut it a little bit close. So I'd probably just go there, there, and down and out. Okay, so with one more stop before the shop, I think upgrading this would be a smart idea. And with a 15 second cooldown, I'd be much more confident with taking those on. And we should also have this system ready, actually, and our dodge. Let's get all of that ready to go. And let's jump to that beacon. Oh, only four fuel left, but we have a store in sight. Okay, you come across a rebel automated scout ship pursuing a civilian ship. Weapons engaged. Let's aid that civilian ship and let's fight this thing. And we can't board it because it is... Well, we can board it, but it's, there's no oxygen on board, so our crew members would take a lot of damage. Let's target those weapons. They have a cloaking system. That's what that one right there is. For a second there I looked at it and I was like, what's that? I do have trouble remembering things. I'm sure you know by now. Even things that we're doing <laughs> in the present moment, like going to shops to get fuel. Alright, oh, let's bring that combat drone online. What am I doing? I'm not paying enough attention, is what I'm doing. Alright, this might take a little bit of time now that it's cloaking again. We haven't taken any damage to the hull yet, which is good, and they're about to fire an iron weapon. It'd be nice to see that in action and see our augment actually prevent it from doing its thing. Well, just a matter of time now. So we destroyed the ship. And uh, we will contact the ship. Oh, we got a halid beam. We also have a glaive beam. I think that's even better than that one, but it also costs four energy. Yep, we will take that. That's in our cargo bay. Let's go and have a look at that. So it requires three, and it does two per room. That one does three per room, and it requires four. I mean, this is a crazy weapon for taking out... Um, the final boss. So we'll hold on to both of those for now. This boarding drone I don't think we're going to use as well. Hmm, might, might work well with our boarding strategy. I don't know. Anyway, it's time for us to jump to that store. Yeah, we're going to go there first, then we will... Oh no, we already upgraded our, our transportation system. Okay. So we could buy cloaking. I still don't feel like now is the time to do that. Maybe a little further on. They have a glaive beam for sale. I do kind of want to pick up a, a missile weapon towards the end as well. I think that's going to be useful in the final fight. I think what I will do is just fix a couple of points on the hull. Some of it will be free further down the line and we'll get that fuel that we desperately need. And I think that's going to do us for now. Yeah, that looks like it will do us. So, um, we want power on those two for the next for the next beacon. It might be able to do two before we exit as well, which is pretty cool. Get an extra jump in there. Okay, so it's an advanced rebel automated ship. Again, another one of these. We're just, just going to attack it. And as always, target the weapons. Bring on the drone. Uh, so we have to take those offline. Do you know what? I automatically pause all the time when playing this game. Just It's so instinctive to, to stop when making the little micromanagement decisions. 
And they might do some damage to us. Now their drone room is on fire. Their weapons are down now. We've got this. I think I'm going to skip this again. Because like the last one, the fight is pretty much over now. And there it is again. We get 55 and we can investigate a space station where we get a combat drone Mark 1. That's the same as the one we already have, actually. And uh, 27 scrap. We actually have a lot to spend right now, don't we? Let's go to this beacon and we'll definitely have to spend that on some upgrades before going to the next sector. Okay, it's another one of these. Big surprise. It's trying to get out of here as well, actually. So we're going to bring our combat drone online. Target one on the weapons, but the heavy iron, actually we'll put the heavy iron on weapons and the more frequent one we're going to put on their helms so they can't leave. I think that works, if it's ionised it can't leave. So it's a little bit of a race against time now. Let's see what we do, they're firing a missile, it's hit, that's going to cause some damage. We're actually going to, yeah we'll send that guy over there to repair it right now, in fact both of these guys can go. So the weapons are down, the helm isn't down, now it's down. <laughs> so their flight is delayed, that's good. Now the drone's just got to do its thing, perhaps damaging the uh, drone room would be good at this point. These guys are okay, let's send them uh, back to their positions. Let's get some oxygen into that room as well. And these guys are just going to slowly heal, which is awesome. Ah, the drones, look at what the drones are doing. They're levelling up our, uh, our shields guy, I think. There he goes getting better on the shields every time they fire. So if we were to take our drone offline at this point, we could possibly just keep them disabled with our uh, with our iron weapons. And then these guys would really level up. I think I saw the engine guy level up as well. It's possible that um, the dodge thing is happening here as well. Anyway, it's been destroyed. So we'll take that fuel and that scrap and we will look at upgrading our ship. So 180 plus 60, 240 for the next level of shields. That's going to be a bit premature if we do that now. And so really, the only thing I think we can do at the moment is perhaps get our crew teleporter all the way up and our engines as well. So that's 90 and that's 150. Yeah, I think we'll do that. That's good. 140 left over. So let's put the power on those systems like that and let's jump to the next beacon which is the last one in this sector. And so we are two thirds of the way through this one. Okay, you arrived near a damaged and dilapidated, I know what that word is, <laughs> space station. It appears to be an abandoned, it appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. So we can board with the station and look for some survivors, or we can scrap some of the debris, which I think we'll do, because last time we took that risk we lost. A crew member. But risks aren't fun. Oh, let's take the risk. Let's do it. And there's nothing there, but we get a little bit of scrap. Okay, that one's over. <laughs> Off to the next sector. So, we're going to do the rock controlled one. Yep, no need to go to the civilian one. I've been enjoying the fighting, and we are really ready now to do the boarding thing. So, hopefully, we will fight um, the right ships in this one. Okay, we're going to jump to that one so it connects to lots of other beacons. Again, whenever we get to a shop, we've got to buy some fuel again. The captain of a rock freighter lost in the asteroid field hails you. Our coordinates led us here, but only death breeds us. What must be, must be death to all. You power up the battle systems and wonder how long they've been stuck here. So they're going to fight to the death. They got four rocky guys and we just got two of these fighters, but our system is upgraded now, so boarding is definitely something we're going to try. So we are going to frequently target their weapons, but also we're going to target their med bay because if we want to kill these guys, we can't have them healing, can we? So we'll get our guys into the room, ready to board. And that's about all we have to do at the moment. And we're in an asteroid field as well, which isn't good for our shields. And we're going to target the weapons room. We're not really going to do any damage in there, are we? Because they're sending people up. And this is actually a terrible room to fight in. Let's move them out to... Which room? Let's go to the med bay, because if we fight them here, they can have 4v2, which we don't want. And now we're doing damage to their med bay, which is fun. Okay, we are now able to send these guys back if ever they get in a sticky situation. And that first guy we were fighting, he took a lot of damage. 
And what, wait a minute, something's going on here. My heavy iron went offline, why was that? Target that room. Look at this fight, it's terrible. We're fighting them in the med bay and it's not offline. <laughs> I just did the stupidest thing ever, didn't I? Okay, you guys are coming back for a moment because I'm an idiot. Captain stupidity. Let's, oh, let's actually select them and move them, not selecting the doors. <laughs> what a stupid thing to do. In fairness though, it was supposed to be offline, but something happened to my heavy iron. Probably something to do with the asteroid fields here. I didn't see us take whole damage, but then I was looking over at their ship. Okay, let's try that again. Their doors are in trouble by the looks of it. Their med bay's not offline. Man, is this thing even targeting it? Let's swap it around so the iron blast goes for the med bay. What a silly fight this has been so far. There we go. Okay, it's ionized. We're gonna send our crew into their med bay. Oh, right as it did damage to ours, we're going to have to take our guy off of the engines. Actually, no, we'll send you in to repair it, since you're next door. Right, how's the fight going? Horribly, by the looks of it. However, we're about to kill one of them. That's good. And there's nothing more for us to do at the moment than bring them back temporarily. Send you down there. And what's going on here? Is that thing fully powered? I'm not sure. This fight could have been over a lot quicker. <laughs> Let's say that. Okay, right, so for some reason there's power missing on that again. It's really hard to keep up with all the things that are changing. Okay, so once again, send them into the med bay. Two on one, that's excellent. The med bay's down. I think we will start targeting both of them on that for now, just because they've had a couple of shots off. Okay, so that one's down. It's into the next room now. Get out of the fire. Oh dear. What's happening? Okay, this guy's in bad shape. We need to take them down quickly and then get them off of there. He just got hit again. And we get a crew member quickly. Let's get that guy out of there. Yay, we did it. Let's get out of this asteroid field. Alright, there's a store. We're not going to go to that just yet. However, <laughs> there isn't really any other connecting beacons. So we're going to have to go this way by the looks of it. And a store means we have a nice and peaceful jump to regroup from that crazy fight. <laughs> Um, I didn't see how much scrap we got as well. I didn't pay attention. Let's heal a couple of bits of that as well. And we've got something for sale here, possibly. I don't know if we're really going to use the drones at the end fight. At this point, I just don't know. And I think maybe holding on to all of these things we've got here isn't the worst of ideas, is it? So let's leave it like that for now. Okay, you guys need to get healed up. We have a new crew member. What are your skills? It is fighting. Well, that is good to know. We could send three people over at once, but I think I will station you. I'm going to station you indoors, and then we'll have you waiting nearby so you can go. Actually, you might as well wait in the med bay. That works. Let's save these crew positions, and let's look at our ship because we spent all our money at the shop. We could possibly upgrade something here, but. I think at the moment the wiser thing to do is actually just to hold on to the scrap. We've got to upgrade our shields again at some point, so let's go up to that beacon at the top. It's going to be a bit of a race to get out of that corner by the looks of it. Okay, so we have overheard a conversation. We could offer to board a ship. Let's do that. They quickly scan your ship and say, It appears you could help. A bandit is made off with some very important cargo. Though I doubt they have any understanding of what it is they stole, we need you to capture the ship intact. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I just noticed a typo here. You see the little speech mark things there? There's none at the end. <laughs> um, we'll agree to capture this ship. Great, we'll relay their coordinates. Remember, do not destroy that ship. Remember, we'll be right behind you. Okay, it's all the way over there, so we're going to go one, two, three, and then do the quest. Seems like a good idea. There might be a good reward from this as well. However, I think I've done this quest before in uh, another game. So we have a rocky ship again. They have three members on board. We could possibly board with three. Um, do they have a med bay? No. So we are going to target their weapons with both of our irons. They can also board us, which it looks like they're doing. Bad idea, my friend. Very bad idea. That's all I'm going to say, because our fighters are coming to greet you. 
So when we board them, that's going to be a real easy fight for our two guys. And then we'll send a third guy over as well, which is probably not even necessary. And we just took damage to our hull, which is never fun. And again, well that's quite a lot of damage. And let's board them. Let's stop them using their weapons. Uh, we're going to just go straight into their weapons room, since they only have two members on there. Let's send in that third guy. Did I send them in fully healed? I don't think I did. Okay, in you go. And now they are in big trouble. However, so are we. So you are just going to retreat to that room. And now our other guy is in trouble. So you're going to retreat as well. And then that guy is going to take care of it. Let's bring those two back. And now they can heal up. And look at that. we got lots of scrap and some missiles. Okay, so let's heal up our crew and get ready for the next jump. Okay, we're jumping to this one right here. And what awaits us? It's another rock ship. That's another opportunity for us to uh, board them. So, we're going to send our two guys over there. And we're going to target their weapons, as always. And we're going to board their room while they board us. And we'll send you down there to fight with them. Or with our guy, at least. And now I think they're in big trouble. Although they can still fire their weapons at us. Which is not good. We've been having this problem a little bit lately, I've noticed. We're not getting through their shields quick enough. However, this fight over here is really going our way. As it is down here. There we go. That was taken care of quickly. And one of our guys is in a little bit of trouble. However, that fight was over quicker than we realised. And we got some fuel for jumping and some scrap. Quite a lot of it. Let's get our guys safely home. And recharge for the next jump. So the next one is our quest beacon. Let's go here and find out what's happening. You find the ship that you are asked to capture intact. You're not sure why, but they stress that it's of great importance that you kill the crew without destroying the ship. This is actually perfect for the strategy that we're doing right here. One thing I would point out, they have five of these guys and a med bay. And it looks like they've got probably some decent weaponry on them as well. This is actually going to be a tricky fight. Let's get those iron cannons online and target their weapons, of course. Uh, we're not going to board straight away, however we could, but I think it's unlikely we would kill one of their crew members because their med bay's online, so the first thing we really want to do is get their weapons off, and I don't think our iron cannons here are greatly equipped. It'd be nice to have a third one. See, we've missed. And now they've boarded us, which is actually kind of good, because if we kill them before they go back, then that works out well for us. So you're going to go into the med bay and our fighters will greet you in there. However, this guy's skill level might make them better than these two, but they move around fast as well. Still haven't taken their weapons down. I'm a little worried <laughs> how difficult it's been lately to take them down. Miss. Miss. Not good enough, is it? Did they take them back? They took them back. That's not... Oh. I wanted to kill them first. Do you know what? I reckon this is going to be a long fight. This is going to be a tricky one. Okay, that's it. Right, now we're going to put the Iron Blast onto that room right there. They boarded our helm again. See, now might be a good time to board them, but they've still got that med bay. We just need to get it offline and board their med bay when they take these two back. So let's get you and you in that room ready to do some fighting. And our guy here isn't doing so well. Okay, so now we're going to wait for them in their med bay, which isn't offline, it's come back online. And we might not be able to kill them, I'm not sure how fast it heals, it looks like we got it. Yeah, we got this. Look at that, okay, right, now we're damaging their med bay. And their med bay's offline, so at the moment it's an equal fight, but we're going to have to take those two guys out of there, really. I think it's time to heal up these guys over here. And uh, you will temporarily pilot the ship. Okay, we definitely got to take them out. Their weapons are still doing damage to us. I think our ship needs upgrades all over the place at the moment. Okay, so you're going to go in there, you're going to go in there. Swap these around. Oh man, this is a crazy fight. Uh, we can board them again at some point, but I think we need to target both of our weapons onto that for a moment. Is that guy going to the room? No, he's not. Okay, let's... Oh, we can't board again. Not for a moment. Let's just keep these weapons offline. 
And this is a tricky one. Uh, our guys aren't healing. We don't have power to our med bay. Where did that power go? Why do I have one less power? Oh, it's because I moved that guy over there. Right, <laughs> that makes sense. That means these guys aren't healed up either. This isn't working quite right at the moment, is it? We want these guys to be fully healed. They're going to go over there, which they are now. Oh, right, this is this is taxing. We want to get that health bay down, and now we can teleport in there while it's down, do some damage to it, then fight there too. So at the moment, the important thing is to keep that thing offline. It just hit again, which is good. And it looks like we're going to crew kill <laughs> one of their crew members, and then they'll probably send down the other one, right? No, he's going to stay up there, which makes that fight a little bit easier for us. And that guy is really close to being dead now. And I don't think I can risk it any longer. We've just got to take them out of there. That was close. It almost lined up perfectly. Actually, you can go back over there, I think. Yeah, as soon as we can board again, we're going to send those two over. Back into this room. And now I think we've done it. That guy's going to get killed. The other guy's going to come in here. And it's a piece of cake. It's done. Awesome. Could make it a little bit quicker by sending another crew member over, but I think that'll do. Sure, it'd be really nice to have a crew boarding room in one of those four four big rooms so you could send four over at once. That'd be awesome. And we got ourselves yet another Halibeam. beam. <laughs> You secure the ship and wait. The uh, you wait for the merchants to arrive. Upon arrival, they message you saying, "A good job. We would prefer it if you did not speak of this to anyone." Fair enough. I don't think that. Oh yeah, it's going to go into our cargo again. So now we've got things to sail, plus a ton of scrap. We're doing all right. We've taken damage to our hull in this fight, but it worked out pretty well overall, I'd say. So once again, we just need to get these guys back and get everyone healed up. So I'm thinking that we could jump here, here and go, or we could go a little riskier way and jump to more of the beacons, but some of these ones down the bottom I don't think we're going to be able to reach before exiting. Actually, I'm going to go to that one, then this one, because that connects to all of them, and then maybe come back like that. There we go. That's my choice. <laughs> we have a lot of scrap. We do need to spend it at some point. We have intruders in board our ship. And uh, it's another Rockman ship, so we might end up boarding them and killing them as well. Let's get our fighters into that room, those guys right there. I know this guy's a fighter as well. I think I mentioned it. He could possibly do more damage with the 10% extra combat than those guys. I think they actually do 20% more, so probably not. And that guy just reached the next level on engines, which is awesome. We have three specialists there now. And did we kill that guy? I think we did. They don't have a med bay. That's really good to know. And the whole time I've been talking, I haven't targeted their weapons, which is extremely silly of me. <laughs> I have been playing this for a good 30 or so minutes now, so when you're commentating as well, you know, it's quite strenuous, I guess you could say. Ah, oh, we missed. Uh, we need to board these guys. I'm not thinking straight at the moment, which is good because we're near the end of this sector and I can take a break before recording the next bit. We are going to... let's see... We don't want to go into a four-man room, so I think we're just going to board their helm. That seems like the best place to go. Let's fight over there. It takes a while for this guy to get over, so we're probably going to kill the one guy. And now it's just uh, another little waiting game, really. Just see how this turns out. So that guy's definitely going to go down, but it looks like we might need to take our crew members back. And it's a two-on-one fight for a moment. As soon as that guy goes into the room, we're taking them back. There we go, like that. So we got two of theirs down, that's awesome. Let's move you guys down into the med bay, and then we'll move you back up again. And these two are holding out their weapons at the moment, so... Looks like we're going to get a whole bunch of scrap from this one. Oh, you're not actually fully healed. The other guy was. Or almost. Okay, there we go. Let's send them into the helm again. And this is it. This is going to be our victory, because... Yeah, you see how it works out when it's 2v2. These guys win, and that guy's already taken a lot of damage. Fish's health might come a little bit close, though. We'll see. We will see. Okay. And he's fine again. Oh, now the other guy's close. And we did it. Okay, 72 scrap, free fuel. That's awesome. Let's get them out of there. Let's get them healed up. 
So we have 440 scrap. Seems like a good idea to upgrade the shields now. That leaves us with 195. We could possibly buy the cloaking system soon as well. There we go, four levels of shields. And we have a distress beacon. We could visit that on the way out, I think. Let's do it, let's do it. So what awaits us here? You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them asking what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. We will use a boarding drone to go to the station. And we launch that and we get ourselves a whole bunch of things here. That's pretty cool. That's very good. On to the next one. This one connects all of the beacons, so we will see if there is a shop in that area. However, we might not be able to visit it. And there's nothing going on here. And look at that. Perfect. We're going to go to that one, then to that. And just judging from the distance from there to there, let's say one, two. I think that's going to be just outside, which means we could actually go one, two, and three. And I think that's exactly what we do. And it won't be much of a risk because we're pretty well equipped to fight the... Oh, this is interesting, to fight the rebels. This beacon seems to serve as a meeting place for local traffic. It seems you can find crew members willing to fight on your ship here for a price. Uh, it says, warning, you will have to dismiss a crew member. You're already full. Well, we have a fighting crew member who's not been doing too much or being not too involved. Now, this guy isn't too good for fighting because he has 70 health. And we have a pilot. And I actually think that's not going to work out, so we won't hire anyone at all. We'll jump up to this one. And what's going on here? It's a shop, of course. Let's fix up our hole a little bit. Let's buy lots of fuel. We now got 20 fuel, that's really nice. And we could buy the cloaking system. We could also sell something. We're never going to have two halid beams, so it doesn't make much sense to hold on to one of those, does it? There's also a burst laser here. A laser could be really useful as that last weapon, you know. This is one of those moments where I've got to sit back and think, but we're definitely by the cloaking system, that's for sure. Okay, so the final fight. I've been told that the boarding strategy isn't too great for it. What you really want to do is disable those weapons at the front of the ship straight away, and a breach bomb I think would be a really good way to do that. I'm not sure if it causes fires, but breach will do damage to the rooms and kill off the crew members that occupy them, so that's kind of perfect for the final battle. It only uses um, two power as well, which is a much better option than the glaive beam, and I don't think we're ever really going to use the hallowed beam or the glaive beam, so I'm probably just going to sell them now. And I know some of you may not like that strategy, um, but I've done this before and it works really well, you know, using the missiles right towards the end, and I think the breach one is going to be the one to do that. Um, so now we have 93 scrap, and we know that we need to get two more power and two more weapon upgrades. So let's have a look at how much that costs. 70, 90, so 165. It's quite steep. We're looking at 200 and something odd. <laughs> 230, I think. But we'll definitely get that before we reach the end. And we also got to power our cloaking system as well. So kind of know where we're at now, which is good. But we're going to have to earn a lot more scrap. And it looks like we'll be doing most of that in the next episode. Unless there is one last opportunity for a fight here. Uh, which there is not. Oh no, wait a minute, there is something. A ship with consi conspicuous pirate marking markings. Wow. <laughs> pirate markings is orbiting a nearby moon, broadcasting a simple message claiming to have equipment for sale. Now we know how this turns out, and it happened in the last episode as well, I think. Let's attack before he can attack. Excellent. Let's have one last fight. Okay, so they have a med bay. We're going to target their weapons. And uh, then we're going to have to target their med bay once those are offline. We could also use a breach missile if we wanted to. We could take the heavy iron offline and deploy that into their uh, med bay. And they fired a missile and it misses. And that looked like one of those really damaging ones. Okay, their weapons are about to come offline. There we go. So now we are going to board them. Let's get these guys ready to go into their med bay. Of course, we have to hit the med bay first. So let's see what our luck's like. We got it. Excellent. On you guys go. Do some damage to that room before they get there. Hardly any though. Not enough to take it offline. And so the problem now is what happens if they're... Yeah, it comes back online, which it looks like it might be doing. The big problem here is that if we fight them in a room outside, they just move in there when they're, you know, almost dead. And it looks like we've done as much damage as we can. So I'm just going to drag those guys out. 
and hopefully we can move back in there before... Look, they're not getting healed up, so we can move back in. That's excellent. Let's keep this going. Their weapons and their med bay are down. And it looks like our guys are now ready to go back aboard. And that works out really well, I think. And one of their guys is going to go down. The other guy is going to go down really quickly before someone else on the ship makes their way over. And now we're damaging their med bay. That's awesome. This is going pretty well. They're sending down two guys. We haven't damaged it enough to uh, keep it offline completely, or at least for a short amount of time. So, same strategy as before, really. It's time to pull them out. Hopefully we'll keep it offline with the iron, iron cannon thing. <laughs> iron cannon. That's from uh, Command & Conquer. Okay, we are now ready to go back across. Very simple strategy really, isn't it? Just keep going back and forth. And I think they came down there to heal, but they have been met with a fight. That guy's going to go down real quick. Oh look, you can see the fight just by hovering over. He's got 8 health. 2 health. He's dead. Excellent. Lots of scrap, some fuel. Let's get those guys back. That is it. That is the uh, last beacon, so that's going to be it for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. I do really appreciate it. You know, it helps support the series. We will be back soon with the last episode where we'll hopefully be able to take down the rebel ship. Um, the boarding strategy is the one we're using for this game. However, on the final fight, it's not as effective. Might do a little bit of boarding, but as I discussed, we're going to be using that breach weapon a lot. And so that's it. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.